So most of the resources that you find out there about media queries will talk about min width and max width. And that's great. I mean, that's extremely useful. A lot of what you do with layout has to do with how wide the screen is or how narrow the screen is. Because we think about phones and mobile devices as being very narrow and then laptops or tablets being very wide. But there are other factors as well that you can consider when you're designing your layout, when you're designing what background images do I want to use, which um, organization, what sizes do I want if I'm putting cards on the screen. So if I'm building these little cards with images and text inside them, do I want to make them squares, do I want to make them rectangles, do I want to make them vertical, horizontal, portrait, landscape. So there's a lot more to media queries than just min width and max width. And that's what I'm going to talk about here. So I've got a sample page and in the content, very simple, main and H1, three paragraphs with some lorem ipsum text. And I'm applying a whole bunch of different media queries to this. So the default is orange text, font size 1.5 REMs and the padding is one REM. So there's a little bit of space. There's my text, here's the border. The border is being put on by a media query that I've got down here for minimum resolution. So down here at the bottom, min resolution, 100 DPI. Now I've got my screen zoomed in because it makes it better for you guys to read the content that I'm actually doing at this uh, lower resolution. I can zoom in better. The 100 DPI is, uh, I think I've got about 114 DPI is what the screen is at right now. So my border on my paragraphs is set to be black. At 200 DPI, it would be gold. So I could add another one in here. Let's say um, at 60 DPI, it's gold. There we go. So now both of these are being applied, but because the gold one's written second, this is the one that's overriding this. Typically, you, you would want to write your media queries in a way that the natural cascade, the overriding as it reads through the properties is going to be done properly. So if we said, okay, well, if you're up to 60, then I want black. If you reach 100, I want it to be gold. If you reach 200, I want it to be something else. So here we've got the 60 is showing the black, but we're not at 200 DPI. So therefore gold is not showing up. So that's the first one, resolution, dots per inch. So we've got our device pixels per inch. We've got min and max that we can prepend on resolution. So that's our first one that's non-width. Orientation, that's the next one. Landscape or portrait are our two options here. So we can say right now that we are in portrait mode because it's taller than it is wide. As I start to stretch this out here, my min width 800 pixels, that's what just kicked in here. So once I reach 800 pixels wide, the color of the text turns blue. When I get to be landscape, so wider than I am tall, the background color of the paragraphs is going to change to this blue and the text will change to white. So we'll keep stretching. There it is. So now we're wider than we are tall, so it's considered to be landscape orientation. Now all I'm doing is changing colors, changing borders, changing font size a little bit. But you can do anything that you want. You can completely change the layout. If you're using CSS Grid, you can rearrange things. You can change the sizes of things, make them squares instead of rectangles, or vice versa. So anything that you can think of, you can do using these media breakpoints. So we'll keep stretching it out. And there's going to be one more that we come to here, the minimum aspect ratio. So this has to do with orientation as well, but we're talking about width over height. So when my width is four times the height, I'm going to shrink my font size down to 0.8 REM. Now I can go way out here. I'm still not going to hit that. So I'm going to shrink the bottom up and I'm close to it now. There we go. So now my width is four times or at least min, at least four times the height. So this style is being applied. I can start coming back across this way. There we go. I hit the point where I'm less than four to one. So it's back to just doing the landscape. When I get down to that 800 pixel point, it's going to lose the, uh, or sorry, when I get to the point where the, uh, height is greater than the width, I'll lose the landscape stuff. So here I'll uh, extend this a bit. So I'll hit it sooner. 
There we go, the font size just shrunk down. And there we are, there's the orange. So that's the default, which means I'm now in portrait, so I've lost this, and I'm below 800 pixels, so I've lost this. My font size has gone from two down to 1.5. That was where it shrank over here. We'll see in a moment. There, there's the change from 1.5 to two REM. So I've got all kinds of media queries running here, and you can combine all of these media queries. You can use them together or separate. So I could say, okay, orientation landscape and the min aspect ratio is, let's say, 3 to 1 or 3 to 2. So if both these things are applying, and I could throw in a minimum height or a minimum width. So all kinds of things that we can do here. Height is another one that doesn't get talked about much, but you can do min height and max height as well. So we can do orientation landscape and minimum aspect ratio and min height is, I don't know, let's say 1000 pixels. So it's a really big screen. It's a really wide screen. It is landscape orientation. That's when these things are going to apply. All right. So when you're thinking media queries, don't think just min width, max width. It's a great place to start. It's where everybody starts. But after you're used to that, start thinking about other things that you can look at, especially with mobile devices, the orientation, the minimum resolution. That's a big one. So you can design things that render different background images if somebody's got a really high resolution screen. All right. So I hope you find that useful. If you did, please share it. Uh, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments down below. And as always, thanks for watching.